What is going on guys? Today I have another comment response video. This comment came in a couple weeks ago from Ethan ITO. He says, can you make a checker pattern like the one from this video? And then he leaves a link. I clicked on that link and it's a link to the, probably the most popular Razer keyboard lighting video there is out there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna play this video real quick so you guys get an idea of what the design looks like. All right guys, so here's the design. It's called Checkers. It's number 14 on this video's list by P Puff and Pluky. The design is exactly what it says it is. It's a checkerboard. You got some wave going on and you also have a blackout ripple effect that completely blacks out the keyboard. This lighting design looks very cool and it also looks complicated, but it's actually quite easy and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now. All right, so to make this checker design, we're gonna start off with a wave effect layer here over here on the left. And we're gonna select all of our keys. Minus, we're gonna hold control and deselect the space bar. We're gonna click on our color gradient. We're gonna choose this five node gradient, the second option here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this very left node and we're gonna click on this trash can to delete it. So now we have just a four node gradient and we're just gonna kinda evenly space them out, something like that inside the gradient bar. On the very far right, this node we're gonna make blue. The next node in, we're gonna click on our color chart here, drag it down so we have a white node. N next node over, we're gonna click, we're gonna make yellow. And the last node, we're gonna drag this over till it's black, okay? Just like that. So you got a blue, white, yellow, and black wave layer. Click out, we're gonna make our speed 24. We're gonna change our width percentage to 200%. And we're gonna change our angle to 270. Just like that, and hit save. Next, we're gonna create another wave layer. So click on wave down here on the bottom left. So with our new wave layer, we're going to click on it and we're going to start selecting diagonal lines to make up our checkerboard effect. Real quick, I'm gonna rename my wave layers. This first one we made down here, I'm gonna right click, rename layer, and I'm gonna make this wave number one. And likewise with the other one, I'm gonna make it wave number two. So now we have wave one, wave two. Uh, I'm gonna click this little eyeball right here that briefly hides wave number one. Click back on wave number two and we're gonna start making our diagonal lines. Hold control and just start selecting some diagonal lines with some space between. So your guys' keyboard layout might be a little bit different than mine. Uh, that's okay, just make diagonal lines as best you can with some space between. Make sure you're not using the space bar as it's a much bigger key and it kind of throws off the checkerboard effect. All right guys, so this is what my diagonal lines are gonna look like. I'm also gonna hold control and select my razor key. Don't forget about this light, a lot of people do. I'm gonna click on our color gradient bar. And we're gonna choose the two tone gradient. It's gonna be this red and yellow option here. We're gonna leave the left node alone at red. The far right node we're also going to make red, but we're gonna drag it a little bit darker. Just like that, about halfway down the meter. That looks good. We're gonna change our speed to 24. Change our width percentage to nothing because 100 is exactly what we want. We're gonna leave the angle at 90 as well. So now we're gonna hit save. And once you come over here to the left and you uncheck this eyeball, you'll see you have a checkerboard effect on your Razer keyboard. So last but not least, we're gonna add in the black ripple effect that blacks out the keyboard. So what we're gonna do is on the bottom left, click on ripple, make sure your ripple effect layer is clicked and we're gonna select all of our keys. We're gonna click on our color gradient, choose a single color gradient, this green option on the far right, and we're going to drag the color meter down all the way to black. 
you can see here your hex code is 0000. What this does is it makes your ripple effect clear and it won't make a black ripple. I explained this in another video called how to make a black ripple effect. You can see it in this video up above. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the second digit to a 1. So you have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 for your hex code. That looks good. And we're going to change our speed to 2. And that's all there is to it. Hit save. So now when you press a key on your keyboard, it's going to create a black ripple effect, a really slow black ripple that blacks out the lights on your keyboard. And if you press several keys simultaneously, you can actually completely black out your keyboard, let go, and it will start showing your checkerboard again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future we have a really good community going on right now lots of good suggestions on keyboard lighting videos there's going to be lots of videos made off of those suggestions in the future feel free to leave a comment yourself maybe you guys have a really good idea that none of us have thought of and i would be more than willing to give it a try Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.